Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Brick Videos. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick video on my Altoids 10 fire kit for camping. I have also made an Altoids 10 survival kit that I will do another video on. Um, but I'm going to do this one real quick just to kind of show you guys. This one's just for starting fire, so um, let's just jump right in, shall we? Alright, so <clears throat> let me get this uh, bad boy opened up here. Got the tape on there just to help hold the lid shut and uh, to somewhat waterproof it. I mean, that's not going to keep a lot of water out, but moisture at least. Opening up the tin here, you'll see on the top I have a striker for matches. Right below that I have it's like a a metal blade. It's got a serrated edge on it, so I figure if I'm camping or something, I need to cut up some twigs to get some tinder going. I could always use that there. Down from that, we have uh, just a big lighter, standard big lighter, one of the mini ones you can get at the gas station or whatever. It fit in there, so I put it in there. In the main kit here in the bottom, uh, I threw this in here which is just a flashlight. All it is is just a pretty bright LED little flashlight. Help you see what's going on in the dark. All of these are just waterproof tinder. And I actually had to use one last weekend, so I have one missing out of my kit. But as you can see, I just kind of packed them in everywhere I could. Because just like when I had to use one, uh, it was kind of wet out, could not get my fire going for nothing, and um, I had this in my backpack, so I opened it up, took one of these out, threw it in the tinder, and fired it up. This will burn for a minute or two, even after it's been fully submerged underwater, so that's a pretty cool deal. You can pick those up at Dick's Sporting Goods or Bass Pro, anywhere like that. Besides those, on the, the being waterproof, I have a wet fire right there just another kind of tinder to help you start a fire if it's really wet out let's see and these i was going to use this as a little pointer uh I, ha I think i have three of these these are just uh storm proof matches you can dunk these things underwater light them on fire and they'll still burn you can actually light these on fire stick them in a cup full of water and they'll burn underwater so, I mean, if you pick them up at Walmart, Dick's, wherever, uh, you can take them home and try them. You know they're not going to let you down. You can burn these bad boys underwater. And this here, this piece, is just uh, Swedish Fire Steel. I think I picked this one up at Walmart. You can see I've used it a few times there. Uh, these ones are pretty cheap from Walmart. I, I like the Bear Grylls one and also... I have one on a survival bracelet, but I just keep this one in the tin in case the, for some reason, the matches or the lighter would fail me. I don't know. I'd always have this as a backup. You can just strike that, and you're going to get some uh, super hot uh, sparks. I think they say it's around 5,000 degrees. I don't know if I believe that, but it is a pretty badass spark. So, so I got that. All the waterproof stuff, I have cotton for uh, sound purposes, so shit doesn't rattle in there. But also, um, I mean, if, if you've ever tried to light one of these, they go up like no other. So that's also a kind of tender. So I figure this summer, I'm planning on going backpacking and camping quite a bit. I'll just throw this little tin in my backpack, fits perfect, and I'll always be able to get a fire going, even if it's wet out or anything really so I just thought I'd show you guys my little kit there well that was my Altoids kit for starting fires my other one is a survival kit and it is inside this one I have the other one marked with black tape on the front just to show that it's just so I know it's my fire one and this is my survival Altoids kit, which has a ton of really cool things that I've put in it. You would not believe how much stuff is inside this tin. Um, but anyway, 
I'll do another video on that. It's getting pretty late. It's it's after 8 o'clock, and I have to work in the morning. So um, uh, that's my video for now, and I will holler at you guys later. If you found this useful or you're going to make your own, like and subscribe. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get this channel going. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys.